In this video we're going to finish our restaurant and bar app, Tin Pan Alley, and we're going to add content to it as well as links to these buttons and tabs and various icons. Go to edit pages. Now the first one I'm going to do is directions. So I'm going to add a new page for that and I want to add an address in English as well as in Chinese, as well as a map link which will give us directions in Google Maps. Now we could use any one of these HTML page types, but I'm actually going to use this one down here called about us it's nice and simple and does exactly what we want create now it's called address.html let's edit address.html okay let's edit this I'm gonna change this to Tin Pan Alley and a description I'm actually gonna put in map and directions And it's going to be a map and the address let's get that from Facebook the address is here which I probably have to correct that a little bit section 2 and then we're going to add to that Tainan Taiwan now this is so small I can hardly see it so I'm going to just copy it control A control C click OK I'm going to paste it into this address area here Okay, I've got a spelling mistake, so we can fix that. Taiwan should capitalize that. I think it should be Bayman. That's the correct spelling, so it was spelt wrong too on the Facebook page. 28, I think for Google Maps, it's kind of like it written correctly. 28 Bayman Road, Section 2, Tainan, Taiwan. That should work. I'm going to copy that, and I'm going to go back to this one here and paste it in. Okay. Okay, so that's the address in English, and we don't need this one here, the email address. We're going to put that on our contact page somewhere else. Delete that one. And let's just get rid of telephone number, website address, about us. We'll just keep it as a map and address. But that'll do for now. Save. And click on Done. And let's connect our button on tab 1 to our address.html. Directions. And we want going to address.html save okay that's directions done let's add our contact us page add a new page and we're going to do the same this time we're going to call it contact though and we're going to use the about page again click on create now let's edit contact.html again we're going to put the company name up here which is tin and alley description let's put the phone number there so we're going to do a click to call the phone number would be assuming someone's calling from Taiwan it would be this number we've put an O in the front of it so we'll put that as the description and we'll add a zero in the front I'm going to copy that and now we're going to call this a telephone number and this is the phone number click OK and now we're going to put their email address in let's go back to Facebook Grab your email address. Now edit email. Select all, control A, paste, control V, OK. Now we don't need address, we've got that elsewhere. We don't need the phone number, we've already done that. Website, we've put that elsewhere. About us, we'll put that elsewhere. Save, done. So let's connect contact.html to our contact button. So let's go back to tab one, click on edit. As you can see here, contact. Click on contact. Currently it's going to tab 1. Let's make it contact.html. Save. Done. Okay, now we're going to add a GPS coupon. So let's add another page type. And we'll call this GPS coupon. GPS coupon, location based discounting system. We use that as a loyalty kind of system get people to come back into the bar and after so many times they've come into the bar they can actually have a discount of some sort so let's edit our GPS coupon okay let's give our coupon a name I'm just going to call it something like tequila check-in okay the description we'll put it over here so we don't wipe out any of our formatting get a get a free shot every fourth visit say 150 NT 
Now we can specify a start date for this promotion. Let's say today and an end date. Let's make it April 30. Okay, number of hours between check-ins. I'd recommend putting it to at least 24 hours for something like a bar. You don't want people coming in and out of the door checking in again and again. Can be used again. Let's make it just one time. Locations. We've got to add a location here. Now this location, we're going to need the latitude and longitude. And we can take the address again. We can look for address to GPS location and there's many sites that do this and it'll give us a reverse GPS lookup and here's one but there are many others just type in the address Google geocode it and now we've got the latitude and longitude so take the latitude pop that in here and grab the longitude copy and paste paste it in Okay, so just one more thing to do. I'd just like to change this default coupon to a generic one I've made myself. I'm going to upload that. So let's browse to that file, generic coupon, upload it, and there it is there. Choose, click on save, and done. Now we of course have to connect our coupon to our button. So GPS coupon, and we're going to connect that to gpscoupon.html. Save. Done. Now let's add our QR code scanner. So add a new page. I'm going to call it QR scanner. Now there are two page types you can choose from, either QR code list, organize and share scanned QR codes, or just a plain QR code scanner, native QR code scanner with multiple actions. But actually with QR code list you get the features of the QR code scanner and listing features which is quite a bonus so I'm going to go with QR code list create now we just need to connect our button to our new QR code scanner QR code scanner and let's link that to QR code scanner .html and save and done okay next I'm going to upload some new icons for these buttons let's do the GPS button GPS coupon. I'm going to upload a file, upload files, and I created this button icon here. Choose. Okay, that's that one done. For the QR scanner icon, I'm just going to use a real QR code, and there are hundreds of websites which will provide a QR code. I just happen to use one from qrstuff.com. Type in my URL, and in this case, I'm just going to put buzzapps.com, and I've got the QR code. So I download that. Now I've loaded it into GIMP and I've done a bit of a transformation on it and got to scale it down to 70 pixels now we'll just export that 70 pixels high is the size of the icons in the large button menu so we'll just call this one QR scanner export that export OK so now we can upload that to this button QR scanner. Choose, and there's our button. And I found actually on the iPhone, I had a quick look at this. This name is too long, so we've shortened it off. Now that looks better. Now I've also created a new header image because the current one's a little bit too tall. So I'm going to upload that. I've called it Tin Pan Alley Header 2. Okay, choose. So let's click save and done. Now let's fix up our tab menu buttons. So let's go back to the app dashboard and navigation. Now I'm going to change it back to standard tabs, get things going. And for the first one, it's going to be home. And I'm going to select a martini, choose tab 2 going to be Facebook and for this I'm going to upload a file I created an icon which I called tab icon Facebook choose that tab 3 it's the memo games we're just going to call it fun 
and again I borrowed an icon from another template you might recognize it puzzle choose that and for this is the more tab and we're just going to use the sliders save that done okay we're almost done let's edit tab 4 tab 4 edit and our Facebook we don't need Facebook as we've already got a tab for that so I'm gonna make that about us and let's choose an icon for that gallery I'll use the drawing pin icon here choose they don't have a Twitter but we can make that a menu and let's choose an icon for that right, we'll just go with the beer mug for the moment pick a better one later now for our website I'm going to make that tie none news and YouTube I'm going to make that Tin Pan Alley videos Right, so let's go back and fix these links. New page. About us. I'm going to choose one of these HTML pages. Modern HTML. Create. And let's edit that page. Okay, let's just grab this info from Facebook. Go back here. I'm going to copy and paste that in here, just like that. Give it a title. And as far as the image goes, let's choose our original header image. You can change that later. Save. Go back to Edit Pages, Tab 4. Now let's connect about us to the about us.html. Save. Now for menu, we're going to duplicate the about us page. Click on about us, click on duplicate. We're going to call it menu. Now let's edit the menu page. Now we can edit this text down here. Just get rid of all the other stuff. So let's quickly do some of that. Let's get rid of the hours. Get rid of services, parking. Now for the image, I'm going to change that to a picture of a dish. I'm going to upload a file and create an image Tinpin Alley Grill. Choose that. Okay, save. Let's get back to edit pages. Now tab four. Let's connect our menu to our new menu page. Save. Tana News and Tin Pan Alley videos. Those are both RSS feeds. Let's do that now. Okay, let's create a new page type. We'll call it News. And let's select RSS Pro. Create. Now let's take RSS News. I'm going to duplicate it. We're going to call that one YouTube. Duplicate. Let's edit a news feed. Click select. For this I'm going to use a Yahoo search with the keyword Tainan. So let's copy our RSS feed into there. Save that. Done. Now let's edit our YouTube feed. And for this one, I'm going to use an RSS tag search on YouTube with the keyword Tin Pan Alley. There's one word. Save. Done. Now let's connect up our pages on tab 4. So we've got Tiny Our News, we want that to go to News. And we've got Tin Pin Alley videos, we want that to go to YouTube. Save. Done. Okay, that's basically done.